just now. And game number four, we are going to Dragonshire, picked by Miracle. Interesting pick. They're, isn't this their worst map? I believe so, times? because of their inability to end games, and this map always goes late game. I'm also very surprised by the pick, because I feel like it plays into Wiz's strength so well, mm -hmm. because the solo lane is so important on this map. You can, if, you can influence the four-man rotation with the solo lane if you win it hard, and if they give Wiz Sonya again, I feel like he's going to have such a great time. Maybe they have a, pre a prepared plan for dealing with the Sonya. Maybe they have a Malthel draft ready for this map. But I know, given the opportunity to play Sonya, Wiz will absolutely do that. And because we don't see any Murden ganks, and to be frank, the play we've seen from Judy's Murden in, in 2017 and in, in this game, particularly, or this series in 2018, has been very weak. So you feel very confident as Blossom here to have first pick. They'll probably take the Grey main. But if they really want the Sonya, they might just grab it here because it's so important on this map. One of Wiz's best heroes. Genji banned out. Whew. You banned the Greyman, I think you're asking for Sony to be first picked. It would give Miracle the opportunity to play Hanzo. We have not seen that yet in this series. Been banned three of three games. Let's see if they will actually... I think it's an okay one because since... Just thinking in their head since they have not really seen how great their Hanzo player is yet. Even if they do, they can still bring up lots of pokes from the side. They can also think of their own mages. And Wolf is having another technical issue. Technical issue with my pencil. It's okay, I always have my backup pen. Alright, so it is going to be the ban on the Grey Main. Let's see, do they dive deep with Sonya or do they take the bait and lock in the Hanzo? Let's see the first Hanzo regardless. Here it is. First Hanzo of this series. Very likely to be played by Modern Life, given he's playing this type of DPS, main DPS role for Blossom. No longer the solo laner. And for Miracle, they have the opportunity to now, with this Hanzo bait, control the solo lane. It's been tough for them, uh, repeatedly in these matchups against Wiz, to take the upper hand. And... And or will they grab Garrosh because it's been the best hero for Judy so far. Are they also going to keep their burst damage along? Now that Hanzo is on the other side, they don't have too much poke. They can still bring their own poking. But I feel like with that with their with their roster change, just not playing Vala at all. Is that it can actually work out after a while if they go back to this bursty kind of Mage and solo line, they will actually take because the Hanzo is taken away, they will take Sonya instead this time. So they let Blossom have Hanzo, but they take Sonya for H82. And this leaves us to the most interesting draft of the four, I think, to me, based on what we've seen and what we've learned. Wiz has destroyed H82 in games one and two. In three, he was bullied in lane, that was a lane swap, so it was 2v1 against the Leoric draft. So he didn't really get to play his game. You cannot really lane swap easily on this map to bully him. They've already chosen Sonya. Does Blossom draft the Malthel here to dominate further, or do we see Wiz pull out some weirder picks like Thrall, the Zagara? Where do we go from here? Because the entire game plan for Blossom has been around Wiz's soul laning every time. That's been their entire game plan, including their uh, draft on Tomb of the Spider where they picked Sonya in first rotation, even though it's his her weakest map of the, the four we've seen so far. So they skip it for now. Leads me to believe we're going towards potentially a weirder solo laner here for Wiz because it's been avoided. And Miracle's gonna give a lot of thought right now as to how can they approach this solo lane. Uther's very strong with the mouth ale. Looking to ban the Dahaka. See, the solo lane is what this is all about on Dragonshire right now. Miracle has a plan. Let's see if this works out. They're thinking about the Haka. At the moment, I think Leoric is higher, has a higher chance, chance of getting picked by Blossom because think of it, uh, in Tomb one target, Cocoon the support, then basically there is no way of prote protecting the one that's in the Tomb. I completely and agree with you. With Hanzo, you can also use Scatter Arrow and that's gonna be tons of damage plus one more DPS. All they have to do is I think they can just pick up their favorite. Oh, they do switch to Leori. I like this change. Yeah, because 
there's the clear Garrosh ban that says, well, sorry, Judy, not this time. Mm -hmm. But the Leoric ban here is wise also because in terms of the Dahaka matchup versus Sony, you've already won that one. And they've chosen a new Barak, so you're not going to get any gank protection as Dahaka against the Sony. You're going to have to sit back and take the damage. It's going to be a rough lane. You're very likely never going to control the Sun Shrine if you take Dahaka here. Which is why I'm wondering and kind of hoping, because I'm selfish that way, that we'll see a Wiz odd ah, pick a ranged top laner like a Zagara. We've seen him play in 2017. Something strange like that. That would be very exciting to see. Could pair it with a new Barak. It's going to be Judy's Muradin that we see with the Tychus coming through. But now, this is the most interesting part of this draft. Will they just simply be content to have Dahaka bullied in lane and change their entire playstyle, which has been basically warped around Wiz's solo laner? Are they willing to lose that lane to, t to try to win the four-man with a Hanzo? Not the greatest wave clear down there, especially in the early game. Let's see if they actually want to have bring the Death God here to win the lane and also to go in and dive in along with that Divine Shield. So it also creates the wave of damage. So Hanzo can also put just to free damage from the from the back line and just poke yeah. out. Oh, you can you can force sound barriers with a new Brock. Mm -hmm. Then you can hard engage, toss down the cocoon and win the fight with Malthale while Lucio's in cocoon. It's certainly a something that you can do. I think that's one of the options here. There it is. They're gonna stick with the mouth. Medivh. Medivh will give some extra protection. Odd to have two soul laners here. This is gonna be the third time tonight where two soul laners are drafted. At the same time, Medivh, again, similar to Zeratul, like we saw earlier, more of a roaming pick. But this is a little bit wonky. Never really seen something quite like this out of Blossom. If Medivh is able to protect the target that the spear lands on even before it lands every time then there's a re there's a very good reason to pick Mediv here but well not only that because they have cocoon with the ley line seal they can basically pick a target and just stasis or trap in the cocoon eh? every single other one and just focus fire onto that one the, but the problem here is Hanzo Martel they do a lot of damage but it takes time it takes a long time it's not like Jaina where you just burst down all the damage and delete one so you have to use that time wisely and very coordinated. I think the coordination for Blossom is the key to winning this set. Falstead will be the final pick. Oh. So going to be a bit of a wonky match up here. In a sense, you've got two soul laners on the side of Miracle, but a safer second soul laner because Falstead can split push so hard. Sony can team fight well, whereas Medivh, he roams and he's going to need to poke, but yeah, there is no burst on the side of this squad. In fact, this would be like one of the only times where I could almost even make an argument for using last rights. <laughs> but not really. I'm, I'm being facetious, but killing these members against the Lucio is going to be difficult. Lucio is going to have to be cocooned. There is no cleanse on the side of Miracle, but mm -hmm. will it matter when your only follow-up damage to the roots and stuns is really Hanzo and Malthale? slow poke coming out from Medivh, it's going to be difficult. I actually prefer the draft of Miracle myself quite significantly. Yep, with Falstead now, big disen disengage tool. And they also, they can also, uh, for protection and also to engage into the target where, let's say if Anubarag is isolated alone, or even Marte when it comes in, he, you can actually seconds. toss him to the left side and make it in, left or right, and make it into a 5v4 Five, situation. Four, Marte will be like, three, wait, but two, I wanted to do the damage one. with my souls. It's not going to work at all. So, we speak about Medivh as being a soul laner. He's traditionally played as a soul laner in Korea, but he's a roaming soul laner like Zeratul. But he's also played in pseudo double support comps, and that's basically what this is designed to be in this case. Because we already have the soul laner that's clearly going to be uh, Wiz on Malthale. It's going to be a winning matchup against Sonya. So that's what they've chosen. So that will help them control the early game. Sonya heading up there right away because she wants to at least get this first wave completed so HA2 can safely sit back and control this lane without having to fight directly. But we'll see if this Medivh pick works out for potential ganks and picks. Um, and the isolation you were talking about uh, with Leyline Seal plus Cocoon could isolate a few members. 
Okay, missed burrow charge here. Falstad gets called by any of the CC from Blossom. Will be a gone bird. I like this actually. This is gonna help relieve a lot of the pressure. They're gonna lose uh, for a moment control of the mid lane, but Blossom smells this. Modern Life can see it. He is the bird in the sky, and they're gonna invade. They're gonna steal this camp unless Miracle responds yeah, immediately. Everyone comes. Even Luther and Tychus is coming from the bottom lane. It's gonna be everything right now. Stun's coming through. Good protection here. Portal saves Dudu. He gets out. Heals coming through from Uther. And who wins this trade at the end of the day? I think Miracle just slightly. Because, yeah, they got the camp, but more so because they forced Blossom to spend resources across the map to invade it. Now they have this camp pushing, so Sunshine is going to be the focus of Blossom. This is a crazy game we're watching. Blossom's actually rotating all five up Ooh, right Dale now. gets caught. Lucio alone comes to... They need more kills than that, though. They're only going to get one kill and clear this camp, whereas Tychus and Merge are getting soaked in bot and mid. I think this is still a win for Miracle. A nice pick to be sure, but they wanted more than that. Well, not well, Jayon, that's not the way you want to travel anytime no. soon. At least towards your own side, when you know a lot of them are missing from lanes. And there was one mistake coming out from Jayon on Lucio. Not a uh, W build, by the way. Not a scatter error build coming out for... Hanzo this game. I'm gonna be building into attack speed mm -hmm. and uh and his Q here. Pokes. Yep. Which does make sense unless they're gonna going to fight in this small points all the time for the camp, I think. But who's going to it's going to take a longer time for him to go around and do all yeah, the Yeah, right now he's like, Oh god, I wish yeah. I had the W build. <laughs> like Hanzo, can you solely camp your Hanzo? He's like, Well, I didn't do that build, they're like Oh, why didn't you do that build? It's but the only that, build. Yeah, they do, <laughs> the only, they do have Martel for the camp, but it takes a long time, and he needs to be missing from the lane. Yeah. Whereas Sonya can just go around and do all that by, by herself a lot more quicker than Martel, I think. You can see the value of the Q in terms of wave clear in lane, so it's more for the four-man. You can see that explosion uh, coming through right there, but hold that thought. Protection going to help here. Gondor misses yet another... Uh, Burrow Charge, another famous for his Anubrak, one of the heroes he made a name on with his ETC last year. Uh, made a name for himself on those, but so far in this game, pretty disappointing. The gank here onto Wiz, not enough damage there. He got the one Q off for the heals. One more auto attack from Falstaff would have done it if he didn't have that. This Merc Camp, well protected. Part of this comes from Dudu's extra Q explosions. And look at that angle. Or the scatter arrows. Big rotation down here, but here come the stuns. This time they connect. Judy, Dwarf Toss panics away. Does get through there. But so much damage being done. Meanwhile, failed ganks again. In fact, Sniper just going to eat some damage. Osonia is coming down, and this could have been a bait if the bottom rotation was not as bad as this. Because they were taking a long time to take the Shrine back. Yeah, they can't hold this though. They want to squad it. Good cleanse, but Dasong's still in trouble. Needs to get away here. Booped by Jaehyun. Good peel from Gondar. Will it be enough? It doesn't look like it. It's going to turn in here to, to intentionally die to get the extra heals, but there's... Was it correct? I don't think so. There was no way they could have turned the fight there. In fact, Wiz losing control of this wave for just a moment means that this is going to be a blue side channel. Oh, but Sniper might actually get picked. Very close calls here in this game. Only two kills, but so many more near kills. Ooh, Modern can't even poke this. He'll lose his stacks if he dies. It's just too risky. Just this might actually be a Dragonite. Oh, just barely not. Dudu was at the bottom, just taking the Shrine back. But the, the problem is the top lane. Sonya is winning the duel so much that they have... Blossom should have been focusing a little bit more. Taking that pressure down from Martheo. Sonya has been just working her way so... This entire time, because they were losing the bottom one, they couldn't really decide which were, which place to go. They were focusing on the bottom, but they didn't really get any kills. That's the thing. Okay, Judy, the counter stun here helps him peel off an escape. You can see Wiz is starting this camp solo. It takes a long time, as you mentioned. During this time, it allows uh, Sonya to go retake the Sun Shrine and push that top wave in. Long term, it's going to be good that they got this camp. In the short term, um, you know, very capitalizing is H82 in that top lane of this moment. Miracle's about to have 10. 
They can look to try to force a fight. Unfortunately for Blossom's setup right now and their wave control in the top lane with this camp, it says better in the long term, really mean like right about now when it gets up there. Uh, it's going to be tough to force a fight. In fact, Blossom catches up in terms of experience with this. So the, we, Miracle for, the window for Miracle to hit this is closing. In fact, it, it's never really opened at all, essentially. <laughs> they were trying to open it, but uh, never really got anything I mean, it's Major. the tiniest window. Look, it's like three seconds they had it. Looks like uh, I miscalculated and Blossom had like another wave or something. It wasn't really that much of a window there. This feels obvious. Miracle's not going to fall for this. And Judy holding in possibly a Haymaker too. I think Gust is enough against the Martel. But maybe they... I think he should just, just pick the Avatar. Need, you don't really need Haymaker if you have Gust. Yeah. Another missed Burrow charge from... Gondars is really not having the best of Nubarak day. H82 hyper ganked here with that portal. He goes down. Finally, Blossom picks up another kill. Goons are going to go ahead and take this Moon Shrine. There's not enough time here already. Modern Life on the top lane to channel the Sun Shrine. So no Dragon Knight just yet. Is Blossom thinking what I'm thinking? What are you thinking, G Clef? Leyline seal into a dragon strike? So they can't dodge, they have to take at least some damage and zone away from the dragon? You know I hope not. <laughs> 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 they might be. Dragon that gets taken here into this small window of time. There are lots of dragons here. Yeah. And I think I think he's holding in, you know? I, I think there's a slight chance. You think so? A lot more than Haymaker, from what I can tell. Yeah, Haymaker also being held still. Maybe Look, these are two talents I very rarely like to see. Um, just it's, it's cool and it makes it's it's really cool and it it just looks cool. <laughs> okay. I'm watching too much Overwatch recently, G Club. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, every morning. Well I mean let's see if they can make it work. We've seen a lot of heroics held for perfect moment lock ins. I think yes. we'll see this more and more as heroes the storm develops. Oh, cleanse here. Cleanse. Nicely done by Because if they get a sick moment, it is. Okay, if they get a sick moment to use to it. Chase down Martheo. Looking for it here, just and not in range. Dragon strike okay. locked in Wolf. There we go, Modern Life, watch him. Might be a moment here for them to get the change. Everyone's bumped up, or and, and, clumped up. Here they go. Modern and, Life could get the ley line. And nothing happens. Let's see. Modern okay, here we it go. is your chance. He's not going to do it, though. Drop on your ley line. There, there it comes. Here, here it comes. Go. The Dragon Strike. <laughs> this to happen do not clip this guys and put it on <laughs> <laughs> look this was like this was the most sadness okay ever witnessed in HTC Korea cast it was G Club's dreams shattered <laughs> sorry G Club I knew it wasn't gonna work I just wanted to get hype with you for a second though yes, thank you <laughs> also I don't think the haymaker is gonna work out too well but they don't really need the extra avatar when you think about the lack of burst for Blossom. Mm -hmm. Like, he should theoretically be able to heal himself up out of combat in most cases, and also um, Lucio's sound bearers in emergency cases will save him. Another gank attempt on the sniper. This time, I think they get it. Oh, no. Gus, too good. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, he put the portal out. He really wants it, but not going to happen. Oh, man. Okay, that, there you go. Ooh, Martel is gone. Dude, Even without the Haymaker. Dude needs that cleanse. That's a long cooldown. I think uh, I think Miracle's drafted the more standard draft here, which is kind of putting the shoe on the other foot from how we started this series. And I get the feeling it's going to work. Sure, they, they put Haymaker down, but this crazy attempted, um, you know, Leyline Seal into Dragon Strike mm -hmm. is just... It's a it's a dream. I mean, if there's a gust on the other side, Haymaker used to get to protect Lucio here, but it kind of worked here. But not going to work. There's another lane line seal. Okay. Dragon Strike is back, but no. <laughs> <laughs> really. 
No, oh, man. no, no. Denied he like, put the sonic arrow out just to remind himself that it wouldn't work because he was so <laughs> tempted to use it. He put the sonic arrow. He's like, yeah, though, I could see with this sonic arrow with my echolocation, this will definitely not work. <laughs> I mean, Leyline Seal into a stun from Dragon's Arrow and Tormented Souls with Divine Shield, that seems pretty good to me. That seems like something that's been practiced and proven to work. We've seen that exact thing happen already to great success. But this, this feels like, you know, we talk about if compositions, we talk about if combos, G-Clef, this is one of those if combos. If they're in the right position, if the gust doesn't come mm -hmm. off, if he times it perfectly with the ley line, did not Lots happen. Of and that's not even perfect as, okay, they will managed to go out. Gondor Gondor actually goes in and there's a haymaker or two away from the portal. Judy well. actually landing every single one. There's a dragon strike. But what is it doing? Was there a dragon strike? I didn't <laughs> notice it. I didn't see it. It passed by. I didn't see that any dragon strike on the screen. I does, thought that was supposed to do damage. Just a random just two random dragons passing by. <laughs> <laughs> just like in Breath of the Wild, you're like, oh yeah, that thing's over there. It does like a little bit of damage if it hits me, but it's not gonna hit me. Um this looks like a dragon knight for Miracle. Double stun from Judy. Saddest thing too is it was the first time we actually saw Gondar land a burrow charge, yeah, but it caused too. him to die. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Judy gets taken out. A little bit overextending here. The, oh, sound, the sound barrier heavier. one second too late. But they got the Dragon Knight, so it... So it's a good... I, I would say it's, it's a better trade for Miracle, actually, even though they it costs more than his life here. They can actually push in a little bit more and extend their EXP and buy time until Muradin comes back, too. I wonder how many games of Lucio Jayhan has played because he played very few last year. I wonder how many games career-wise it's been. Probably less than five. I can't be too critical, but the death of Judy here does remove a lot of the peeling and with Sonya being the other one in the Dragonite, there's not really a tank here, so this Dragonite ends up being essentially wasted. This has been a scrappy game, but it's been fun. It's been, en it's been entertaining, yes. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> been, been, I'm pretty sure the viewers are entertaining. It's been interesting, I'd say, you know? <laughs> oh, uh, you gotta use that I word. I gotta use the I word, the caster safety word. <laughs> Blizzard approved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dragon Strike's back. It's back. All right, Leyline seals up too. Let's just grab your popcorn okay. at home, esports fans, because who knows what could happen. Uh oh, H82. Yeah, make sure you, you, you do not clip the old one. This one's the this one should be the clip. Okay, see, Judy, just Judy melts. goes down. Goes down and Leyline does. Okay. <laughs> that was like fine. Oh, oh, so close. <laughs> <laughs> so Judy gets picked again. How about that avatar though? Yeah. I guess he probably would have died either way. Wouldn't have been able to cast it because of the stun lock. I think he could have because he was he had time for the toss. Maybe. Only by slightly. They're gonna trade this top four, or at least a lot of the health of it, for bot keep wall, and maybe some damage on keep. Looks like they're changing their mind. As uh, Falstead's still up there. Sniper is uh, in a moment gonna be able to potentially come down here and set up a gust combo. Coming down now, will we see that attempt? Blossom's already ready for it. Mounts are up. Not gonna happen, he's just gonna come here and clear mid. Oh, but he's vulnerable. Dodged the ley line last time, up for 22 more seconds. Mm -hmm. Or up in 22 seconds, I should say. So this comp is, the pokes without the scatter arrow does not do as much damage, and also it's bad at, at pushing towers, I think. But they're here comes okay, here the we go. Dragon Strike, maybe this the one's best good, one. kind of, not really at all. <laughs> not really at all. <laughs> doing the heals though with not the Not even Orwin. taking the camp away from Miracle. Okay. Because of the gust. Gondar gets caught here, Burrow charges in, gets into the portal. Everybody gets out safe, except the dignity of the uh, the dragons on that Dragon Strike. They're the only ones to get out safe, but... Uh, or like whoever designed that heroic and did its damage values at home was like, ooh, that could use some tweaking. <laughs> <laughs> but beyond that, like everybody else gets out safe. Um, it's like, oh, maybe we should be a little bit thicker. I'm not sure. Like this is like sipping his coffee right now, stressing out. Okay, here we go. Judy coming in here to try to set up this fight. He's got Haymaker in five seconds. Gondar in good position to try to turn into this fight They're with a charge. In. Here Hanzo it comes. Hanzo is not here. They're missing the damage. 
they He's coming get, in now. They can get some Haymaker out so they can have to torment it so the cocoon. Okay, can come in now though. He's got the portal. Can he get on them? Imagine if they had a Hanzo stun right now. How sick would that be? They don't have it though. <laughs> 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 All right. If well, it was Dragon Zero, yes, they could have chased <laughs> so many times. So this, they might many still get times. Dragon Knight. Judy's going in. Haymaker, he's got it in 10 seconds. Not ready. Look at all the stuns coming through from Gondar, though. Divine Shield onto Judy. Judy coming alone. This may be okay. Has to use the Gust and also the Sound Barrier. That's a lot of tools wasted. Definitely didn't want to stack those mm -hmm, because they know because Judy died last time diving in alone okay. without the Avatar. The combo. The dream. The Alliance seals up. It is available. Here comes Water. It's ready for the lane. There we go. Toss it. Oh, it's well, no, Dragon not really any damage Where at all. Where's the Dragon Strike? What I didn't it? see it. Oh, it's over there, but it passed away. But uh, Sony is dead regardless. <laughs> Medivh is going to be the is, trade. Oh, actually, it gets canceled in. He was cocooned? During the animation of toss, Dwarf Toss. Yep. Nicely done by Gondar there. And now Dudu's just on the chase here. Let's just ignore the two and focus on the skill shots here. <laughs> it looks flashy and nice, but there's no damage. Um, I think Hanzo did get that kill off screen, by the way, onto Lucio. I didn't actually see it. We just, it, was a, it was a mercy killing. The Observer decided not to show it. Sniper's like, I'm going to slow this down real quick. <laughs> Goes over there and grabs it. You know what the best thing is, though? Every single team fight is so epic. Is it? <laughs> I mean, we get to hear. I like the horns that play when it goes. Like, I think that's pretty effective. Mm -hmm. Like, that makes me feel happy when I hear it. Uh, Dragonite's active. Blossom's got 20. Miracle will have 20. Uh, it, it, by the time the respawns come up, they should have 20 to defend their keep. Very healthy Dragonite marching directly towards South Keep, though. Valstead's soaking for that 20. Probably be Epic Mount to rejoin the fight. Wind Tunnel. Not really an option, I don't feel here. Epic Mount is the best. They need to win this map. fight. Like they need to win this before the core is under attack. Just like yesterday, we saw this on Cursed Hollow. This kind of boss push. In this case, the Dragon Knight. Mm -hmm. They do hit 20, so this Dragon Knight would not be as powerful. And gladly, no Glen Grand Slam. This rewind from Gordon now. Okay, Modern Life moving forward here. That Leyline Seal combo, <laughs> it's available, but not going to be the turning point, I don't think. But can definitely remove some of the members from the fight. I want him to actually hold that in for the longest time. So they will be pressured to yeah. actually be... To think about it and split, you know, split their attention. Yeah. It's, it's one more thing to think about when they team fight. Okay, finally Falstead locks in Epic Mount. He was holding it for a long time. Uh, he was definitely not considering about Nexus Frenzy, though, let's be real. Like, he was thinking about maybe I could use Wind Tunnel later uh -huh. to, to do something fancy, but... Gondor D, Dragons here. A miracle, they took the fight to Blossom they needed to take to survive, but it was not, uh, it was not the fight that, um, that would allow them to save their keep. Mm -hmm. So they're always going to have that bot pressure under, uh, you know, they're going to be under duress from that, from the catapult minions that are spawning now. But it could have been worse. Core remains at full health. There's certainly a potential to win these team fights long term with a comp they built and come back. So. Well, he does have Dragon Awakens now. Yeah, he does. So he can use it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so he can use it a lot more often. Okay. Every... They still the camp. Leyline. Oh, there's a three. Where is the dragon? Oh, Hanzo is all the way at the bottom. Yeah, he's not there. He could have tried to use that global, but not gonna happen. Oh, he does shoot his brother's side, too. but dies. Did he? Yeah, I didn't he does. see it. Because the cooldown, the cooldown's on. Yeah, I didn't see it there. The team, team fight is still happening, guys. Hanzo dies off screen. That's the beginning of the team fight. Judy dives in, but there's a lack of damage. They have to use the shield and everything just to just escape right now. When Nasong's Na Na caught. Nasong needs that teleport. Gets oh. through. That was clutch. That portal right there. Modern. His portals actually has been really, really good this entire game. Yeah. Providing escape for his teammates all the time. Sniper just going to clear this top uh, second night camp. First one already went through. Shrine's up in 25. So is Hanzo. I'm going to take this neutral camp. They've got Falstad top. This could be an opportunity for Miracle to get a Dragon Knight. They're going to be really tight the window they have to work with. Mm -hmm. They might want to abandon this, actually. They've been scouted out. Blossom's heading down. Here's the reveal from Modern. 10 seconds on Leyline. But yeah, no they Hanzo. walk away. <laughs> so they walk away. 
<laughs> this is actually one of the best games. Like, not, not, don't take I me mean, wrong. We're, like, we're actually joking around quite a bit, but it's actually really enjoyable to, to see, like, is there ever going to be the dream Dragon Strike? Probably not. <laughs> but, like, we're waiting, though, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, we don't know for sure. Okay, Judy's like, you better not toss down that Q. So they get the Dragon Knight, just as we said, the window of time for that was tiny, and they made it happen through the use of Falstad in the top lane and that Merc camp that pushed Blossom away while Hanzo was dead. Now this, if they get the bottom keep, will relieve the pressure of those catapults. Slowly encroaching forward here is ATD2 in that Dragon Knight. They okay, might as well the just Odin. throw the Dragon Knight and have that cooldown down with the 20 talents super quick and then use it again after the team but they're looking for the perfect wombo combo oh, here we go there is the there. dragons Dragon Strike right. comes in. This one the damage. Oh, the false set. This one actually that works so well. well. That and was so well. is even trapped because of the ley line. Great sound barrier, but it is way too late. And Blossom is sweeping through. Killing false set was huge there before he could use Gus to disengage. Jaehyun's going to go down as well. And finally, that Dragon Strike. It wasn't the wombo combo, but it was enough with those ley line seals to kill Falstad. And it's already back on 10 second cooldown. Now back. He can use it again. That's how easy it is going to be. Maybe they're going straight to the core. Oh, definitely they're going to the core. This is game over. Judy's going to try to buy some time here with this Dragon Knight. Here comes the kick, removing some of the damage, but Judy's going to go down here. That Haymaker not going to save him in the end. And this is going to be the final blows to the core coming through now as HD2 might even be better Let's off just dismounting the this Dragon Knight. final Dragon Strike for the win. That's exactly what you need. All right, Dudu, here we go. Nope. Sending it backwards. Oh, okay. That, that was, was not well practiced. That was not well practiced. <laughs> that was not it. Uther <laughs> dies regardless. It doesn't shoot right in front of him, guys. That's why <laughs> it's not good at close range. Redemption is going to keep Uther alive here. He's going to respawn. This core will go down. Blossom in a wonky fourth game here. We'll take the series three to one with one successful Dragon Strike at the end of the day. What a wonky final game we saw there. That was not the cleanest Heroes of the Storm we've ever seen in Korea. But one of the most entertaining sure. games from Korea ever, I think. I would agree with that much. <laughs> <laughs> They're blaming right now. Your, your Hanzo <laughs> was not good. It was not my fault. Definitely use the Dragon's Arrow next yes, time, please. please. Uh, <laughs> yeah, play of the game is so much better at 20. Compared, okay. compared to Dragon Awakens, it is... Uncomparable what you can do. You can initiate fight, do the damage, AoE stun. It's guys. It know. was it was fun to watch them try to use the dragon uh, strike to get some massive wombo combos. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the end of the day, they won with good, clean late game team fighting. The overextension there by Miracle, which was punished in part by that dragon strike, uh, was what won them the game in the end in that late game. The dream was completed at the end. So Miracle will drop down with a uh, negative two score tonight. The 4-1 victory, or sorry, uh, the 3-1 victory that Blossom takes in this best of five. All smiles here <laughs> amongst the players, but now we saw Dragon Strike. I heard that Dragon Strike worked in EU. Uh, I didn't see the particular game. I saw the draft, but I did not actually watch the Dragon Strikes themselves, so not sure if it, it was... Worse than Cursed Hollow sometimes because they're all trapped in a line oftentimes, but in this case, it was, I mean, it was look, a different scenario right here. Would, would we ever say <laughs> that Dragon Strike won this game? No. There was a game with Hanzo in which Dragon Strike was locked in mm -hmm. in which Hanzo won the game. That we can say. Yes. But will we, will we ever give Dragon credit Strike to Dragon Strike? Made this game entertaining. Well, That's I hope we get to hear conclusion. from Dudu because he played very well despite the circumstances he put against himself by choosing Dragon Strike. Mm -hmm. um, so I hope we get to hear from him as the MVP as to how everything kind of all played out. That would be fun for me. Look, he had some really good accuracy. He got the kill there at the end on Jaehyun. That That's right. Win the game. Also, basic attack. The he lied. Wolf lied. Scatter arrow build is not the only one. Basic attack build is also okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, we saw the second a time lot of this, damage. Second time this turn, we saw it on Battle of Eternity or uh, BOE Battlefield of Yeah, I said it right. Battle of Eternity. <laughs> oh, yeah, you just <laughs> lose my just mind tonight. Field out. Yeah. So Battlefield of Eternity, we saw that work there. It makes a lot more sense for that map, mm -hmm. but on this map, it worked very well. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a 
different build. Sure. <laughs> we had, a, that we had a lot strike. of fun. We had a lot of fun. We'll get watching casting. I'm sure you, <laughs> all of you guys back home also enjoyed it with us, and your chat experience was not ruined, of course, like one from guy watching home, Korea. There was one guy at home who was like, I can't believe they said it wasn't good. Like, it's definitely more fun. <laughs> so much damage. <laughs> I, when I played in quick match, the one guy I shoot that just walks into it the whole time as he runs away, and it's so good in that moment. Only way, maybe only if you can trap all five in the graviton surge with Zarya, but unless that happens, uh, please. My, my favorite part of G Club was the last dragon strike where he was trying to shoot it at, uh, at, at, the core. at H82, and then like, because it doesn't actually work at point blank range, it just like went past him, it wasn't even <laughs> <Yeah>. close. Like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Blossom <laughs> takes the series three one. Games one and two, very standard draft, standard play. Game three, uh, really good picks and good understanding of Garrosh. When Garrosh was removed again in game four, uh, the boss was able to take the win. We we had some fun with that one in terms of the dragon strikes, but they played the better late game. And, you know, it just feels like Judy, as we predicted before this series even started, mm -hmm. needs to step up his tank hero pool. And we were hoping during the offseason that occurred, but from what we've 